women uh, who are members of the Women's Institute in, uh, in Yorkshire, in North County, England. Uh, and uh, one of their husbands gets a, receives a cancer diagnosis and dies soon after. So um, it really rips a hole in the group and they decide that the least they can do is raise money to buy a new couch for the visitor's room in the hospital that they've spent so much time in. Um, and they come up with this totally off-the-wall idea to produce a nude calendar as opposed to their usual calendar of churches and bridges. Um, so a lot of people sort of know the story from there. They produce this calendar, international media picks it up, and it becomes a bit of a worldwide sensation. And it's sort of about how these women's lives are changed sort of by tragedy and success. You're making the fatal mistake of confusing naked with nude. Would you consider the Venus de Milo naked? That's not what I'm saying. Being naked involves detail. Being nude involves <laughs> We've had to handle it very delicately. Uh, we have an all-female crew backstage who uh, help the ladies get in and out of their clothing. And it's, some of them say it goes so fast they barely even realize what's happening. They're all of a sudden, you know, they're all of a sudden there in their bathrobe waiting to go on to, you know, do the scenes. And um, there, there's also a lot of technical things like we stand, lots of people will stand in the, in the seating and look for sight lines and make sure that we're all covered and we're all nice and looking good and uh, we it's very technical very technical so basically what you're saying is you're hoping for no wardrobe malfunctions yes we always hope for no wardrobe <laughs> malfunctions being nude involves whiskey <laughs> suggestion what we're talking here is a slight shift from a WI calendar of spectacular views to a calendar of spectacular views of the WI. Mm, absolutely. Uh, you know, it's about cancer, and uh, that has touched my family way too many times. So any opportunity I have to spread awareness or support for cancer research, uh, I'm all over that. So, uh, And it's also um, just one of those plays that's been on my bucket list for a long time, and I'm finally old enough to play it. <laughs> Stand back and prepare. Oh, no, I can read you. I, uh, no, what, three, two, 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 three, two,